Hey you. I thought you didn't have any more classes today. But you're still here. Ah, he's asked you to stay for lunch, huh? Um, can I sit with you? <laughs> Thanks. Me? I am all done for the day. I was just about to head home. So, and did you text him? Right, a while ago. Um, see, the thing is, I saw him about an hour ago. He went home with, what's her name? Um, you know, the one he's always hanging out with. Yes, Sarah. Yeah. I saw them drive out of the parking lot when I went to grab a book for my car. Ace said he had something to tell you. And did he say what it was about? He hinted. Hmm. I want to ask more, but I won't. Wait, does that mean you've been here all this time? <laughs> you must really like him. I only know because I just got you to admit it. I was just guessing. Were you going to tell him? You know he's got a thing for Sarah, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I just wanted to check. No. You're not an idiot. You can't help who you like. I get that. I mean, despite my issues with him, Ace is very charismatic. <laughs> He's a tool. And that is my problem with him. Also, all the girls like him, and he flirts with them, encourages them even. There were those two girls from the gymnastics team in the hallway the other day, remember? They were flirting, and he was too. We were both with him, and those girls were acting like we weren't even there. No, it's not like he doesn't see you that way, but... I mean, yeah, there was the time he lent you a hoodie. I remember the look on Sarah's face. Oh yeah, you could tell that she wasn't happy about it. Oh, it's all pretty nuts. Ace is in love with Sarah, despite the fact that she told him she's not interested. But she also keeps him at her back and call. <sighs> it all feels very juvenile. I assumed once we reached college, we'd be done with it. I'm white. What do you mean? You fell into that mess. You were probably just misinterpreting things. <sighs> Hang on now. I mean, maybe you did misinterpret things. But don't call yourself an idiot. You are not an idiot. You're human. We all make mistakes. We all get swept up into an idea of something or someone. It is hard trying to figure all this out. I am really sorry that you've been put in this situation. It sucks. I know, but I still am. It also sucks that you left you stranded. You deserve someone better. You deserve someone who sees you. You deserve... someone who picks you as their first choice. I see you. 
what I mean is, I see the fact that you try to help others. I see that you work so hard to be here. I see the way you self-consciously tuck at your shirt when you're in a group of people you don't know. I see you when you say hi to animals, even when you think no one's looking. I mean, the fact that you say hi to the crowds that hang around campus is kind of adorable. What I'm trying to say in all of this is that you are my friend. But more importantly, you are You are my first choice. I know we've been friends for a while now. But I like you. Yes, I like you more than a friend. I know it's sudden. And you're dealing with a... I know it's sudden. And you're dealing with a lot of emotions already right now. But I wanted to say it. I'm telling you now because I didn't want to wake up someday and regret not telling you. Even if you turn me down, at least I'll know I tried. I didn't want to make that mistake again. <laughs> What? Of course. Even I make mistakes. I mean, I guess if you look at it from a certain way, making mistakes, being messy, is what being human is all about, right? Meet up. Yeah, this weekend would be great. Um, wait, how are you getting home? The bus? I can't let you do that. No, I insist. Let me give you a ride home. <laughs> Don't even mention it. <laughs> Did you have any lunch? <laughs> I can hear your tummy grumbling. <laughs> We can stop somewhere if you want to grab something to eat on the way. Oh. Is it Ace? Aren't you going to answer it? <laughs> Thank you. For choosing me. Come on. Let's get you something to eat. <laughs> 